Hello everybody, it's Jay from the Game of Shikai, and welcome back to the live Let's Play of Digimon World 2003. Once again, we are here on Twitch and YouTube, and of course if you're watching this on the post, uh, don't forget to hit the like if you do, are enjoying the series. We are going to be doing the final dungeon guys, and then it is the post game. Uh, basically the uh, added content that we got, because we did not get Digimon World 2 over here in the UK and in Europe. Hence why this game is called 2003, but well, also because it was released in 2003, so blah 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 blah. But it was our second game, we didn't get Digimon World 2, so I guess for compensation they were like, here's post game. It's not really much, but it's something I guess. I heard Digimon World 2 didn't do very well, so I'm guessing that's why we didn't get it. Um, so yeah, final dungeon. I haven't done anything else. This is what we've got. Um, I'm going to check and see if there's any points we need to train. And if there is, we'll do that. We'll save and then we'll we'll go and tackle Megadeth. Yeah, by the way, the, the, the main dude's name is called Megadeth. Okay, we're good. Make sure items are good. I mean, I've only got... I only really need to supercharge. I think we'll be fine with the superchargers. I've got a bunch of booster packs. Um... There isn't really... Okay, let me check my accessories. Let's have a look here. I mean, I could change my accessories any time, so it's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, Counter Crest is good. Counter Crest is fine. Okay. This is going to be our final team right here. Uh, I don't have another Counter Quest, do I? This, uh, no. Should I, give, should I give XP to someone? I guess it doesn't really matter right now. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Alright, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, that, that should be fine. I did want to level up a little bit more, but I can't be bothered, man. I'll be honest. Let's just wing it. We'll be fine, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, everyone got turned into pigs again. That's not good. Alright, let's go fight. Let's go uh, take down Mega Death, shall we? I'm sorry, but that name is way too metal. I mean, the fact that there's a band called Megadeth, I mean, there you go, you know. <laughs> he doesn't play any, like, rock music, though, so... He just plays the same old, crappy, AOA theme. I mean, I don't mind the AOA theme, but the problem is, it's... It's it's a tune that, that, that you know, kind of ends so, so quickly, and it's like on a loop. Constantly, you know what I mean? For, for, for a good chunk of the second half of the game, it's all you hear, so... Alright, let's go. This is a teleporter, and this takes us to... The Gunslinger. Apparently we're in space. So, I guess that means... We're in the real world? It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, uh, once you go here, you can't go back. Like, once you're here, that's it. Once you are here, it's 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 final final game time. Anyway, there's this block here, so we can't go past it. So we step on the green teleporters, and here comes the puzzle. Yeah, so uh, this dungeon is literally just find the right teleporter, uh, find the switch, hit the switch, then you can move on. Um, so. Do I have this memorized? Of course not. Do you know who you're talking to? <laughs> but we do have a pretty sick background. We've got like this space background going on. Like we see planet Earth. We're standing on like some sort of like hexadecimal pattern on the bottom there. I'm not really sure. But um, I think it's a really cool looking background anyway. I always kind of like space backgrounds um, and stuff in video games. It's a nice shot of the planet Earth right there. <clears throat> Solid stuff. So yeah, the final dungeon, guys. The final dungeon. We're going to have, like, a couple of bosses. Um, so, yeah. But this will be it. And then we just have post-game to do, which we'll, we'll do next week. And then we're finally done with the game. Um, it's not the blue. It's the green, right? Yeah, it's the green. I think the green takes you back, so. Alright, let's see how we go here. Oh, there we go. That one's simple enough. Press the big red button. 
There we go. And I get to just remove the block. Don't ask me why, it just does. I don't know. Did the block go away? Luckily it did. So we hit the blue one, the blue one takes us back. We're getting dizzy. So this is literally all we're doing for now. So yeah. Um, I want to say it's this one, but I, I'm, I'm guessing. It's been a while. Okay, so it takes me to this, so I can only get to this one. And this takes me here. Oh, this takes me here. Okay, um, go back here. And, well, I mean encounters, of course. Here we got Metal Siegemon. Is it only Metal Siegemon? I don't really want to waste... I don't want to waste uh, MP fighting this dude. I mean, I, I could just do normal attacks, I guess. But... You know, you want to conserve your MP. Because you're not going to get time to heal at all. So, be aware of that. Um, We're going to go to the left one. No. We'll get it eventually. Yeah, you're not going to get any chance to, like, get your MP back or anything. There's no resting. Like, this is it. So, you know what? Let's, let's switch up the Digimon. I was going to leave him up to get XP, but we're going to switch it up. We're going to... Move that. There you go. Kotamon gets uh, sent to stage there. <clears throat> Alrighty. But how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing... All right, whatever you, whatever you guys are up to. Oh yeah, I forgot this happens. Sometimes one of these uh, teleporters will take you to uh, a different floor, and then you fight a robot that has Digimon. That's fine. Look at look at Planet Earth in the background though. I mean, it's probably just like an image, but still. Come on, Tin Man. I'm sure it's heard that one before. Good job. <laughs> Intruder alert. Ah, but we have to fight Infamon. Uh, later on, we will be coming across quite a few, uh, like, Dark-type monsters. Um, so. Yeah, I did decent. Hmm. It's time to Golden Rip one. That's why I named one of the titles. Someone was probably like, really? What does that even mean? <laughs> what does that even mean, bro? Also, this is kind of random, but I just want to point out that when I streamed Wind Waker on Wednesday, I forgot to change the thumbnail, so it said Digimon. <laughs> the title said Zelda, but the, the thumbnail said Digimon, so I was like, that's an oops. Apocoriamon. Or however you say it. Apocarimon? Hmm. He's, uh, he's the villain of the first series of Digimon, actually. Digimon Adventures 1. I remember. Interesting design. Interesting design. It's, it's, it's like a... Basically, it's like a 3D hexagon with just a bunch of arms. Like grabby arms, you know, <laughs> a bunch of grabby arms. Yes, we're in space, man. We've got like, I've got a background, of planet Earth. All right, there we go. And you know, naturally, he's going to say the same thing because you know, this planet's alive. It's alive! My creation is alive! Oh, I wish I could do the, um... I wish I could do the, uh, Guildenstern voice, but I'd kill my voice then. Alright, we, we... Well done, we did it, we removed another block. Guess what? We gotta remove another one. <laughs> uh, it could be worse, I guess. We could be, uh, pushing blocks. Is there anyone out there who actually likes pushing blocks in video games? So I don't. You know, like a puzzle type thing. Like, a lot of the time you're just pushing blocks about and stuff. Like, does anyone actually find that enjoyable? I'm sure someone does, I guess. Infamon. I, I don't want to fight. Oh. 
I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Okay. Never mind. Um, so we'll actually be done with both games really soon, which will kind of be nice. And we can both move on uh, Wednesday and Friday streams with, uh, you know, with something else. So. So that'd be nice. I'm going to guess here. Uh, I have no idea. Um, this one? I'm already confused. <laughs> Ooh, uh, wait, this took me... Oh. Whoa. Um, okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I guessed. I mean, I have done this before, but not not a long time ago. But now yeah, we got to find another tin can robot. Intruder alert! Delete! Delete! Exterminate! Exterminate! <laughs> I'm gonna kick y'all sorry robot ass. Right. <laughs> uh, I was gonna run away. <laughs> That's uh, good work, Jay. Run away. Run away like the coward you are. Run away like the coward you are. Alright. I mean, this is basically just a spider. That's what Infamon is. It's a spider. Ugh. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to meet that in real life. I would not want to meet that in real life. It's a it's like it's like a robot spider. I guess. Yeah, and then same Digimon as before. You know. Same verse, same as the first. Darkness Chaos! Take the darkness, join the dark side. Join the dark side. Now, nah, mate, take this golden ripper. Whatever this, whatever that means. I still don't know what that means. I don't get it. <laughs> the angels, they save me. In the arms of an angel. Have another one. This is the power of heaven! There we go. Be purified. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Be purified! We did it. We defeated the darkness. But now, anyway. I don't know what happens to the robot. I guess it just blows up. It's gone. Anyway. Alright. Alrighty. I think this might be the last one. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's it's not pretty much of a dungeon. <laughs> but I mean, to be fair, I never felt like this game really... Like, when it had dungeons, it weren't anything too crazy. It's no Zelda, you know. It's, it's no Legend of Zelda. So... Yeah. Hey, another Infamom. I don't have time for you, though. I'm afraid. Machine guns! Oh god. By the way, anyone stopping in being like... Jay, did you cut your hair? No, I didn't cut my hair, but... I cut my face. <laughs> I shaved my face. Um, so if I look a bit weird, if, you, if you're not used to seeing my face like this, it's, it's because most of the time I have basically fluff on my face. And I got rid of the fluff. Uh... But, I don't know, I, I, I always think I look weird. Um, I did get told that without facial hair I look younger. I guess that's a good thing. I don't really mind. But see, the hair on my face is what makes me look like my age. And I prefer to look like my age, personally. I'm not that type of person where it's like, I want to look young forever. I don't really care. Um, you know, if I look 30... And I'm 30, then okay. But if I look 30 and I'm like 20, then all right then. There's something not right quite right there, but you know. But there you go. I don't know. Ha ha ha! What can a small fly like you do? I, Lord Megadeth, am beyond that warp gate. Now come, strongest tamer, and fill my strength. That sounds like an anime protagonist to me. Well, in fact, it was an anime villain. Where is he talking? 
All right, let's go. Ha 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 ha. Cool. Ooh. Right, now we're just climbing, pretty much. I want to say earthquake, but we're on a satellite, so it's not an earthquake. But something's going on. Something is going on. Rumble in the jungle. Oh, 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 cutscene. CG cutscene. Gunslinger transformation. Uh oh, it's the Eclipse Cannon. It's the Eclipse Cannon. It's Sonic Adventure 2. It's gonna just they're gonna destroy the moon. It's Sonic Adventure 2 all over again. Actually, no, it's more like the Evolver Array, actually. Uh there, there's there's a reference. Crash Bandicoot fans will know what I'm talking about. Um if I remember correctly, uh this is literally kind of like the Evolvo Ray. Um, the Gunslinger is equipped, equipped, equipped with whatever it is that causes humans to turn into pigs, um, and I believe it literally said so that it can send a laser down to the planet and turn everyone into pigs. So it is literally, it's literally the the Cortex Vortex from Crash Bandicoot. That's literally what that is. So. <laughs> When you say Ripper, it sounds like you're Australian. <laughs> roo roo! I probably offended an Australian. You know, someone probably just came in and was like, Look, I'm totally offended right now. I'm Australian. So, I'm not even going to try to do anything. <laughs> roo roo! Uh, hurry, we... I mean, this is... This is... This is, um... Breaking the fourth wall. Hurry. We have to defeat the Lord Megadev. I mean, he's looking right at me. Dude, like, I can't control the game. No, I can't. <laughs> it's not my fault. Uh-oh. More rumble in the jungle. More rumble in the jungle. What a ripper. Did they, did Australians say that? I don't know. What the boom. Yeah, you, you get random encounters now um, when it rumbles. And uh, speaking of spiders... Speaking of spiders, it's uh, Armageddon Mon. What a name for a Digimon, Armageddon Mon. You ever heard of Armageddon? Well, oh, this is this is what this is what it looks like in a Digimon. <coughs> <coughs> the damage. Yeah. I think this was the um. I think this was the uh, villain of the first Digimon World movie. I think, or the second, or something like that. Armageddon Mon, something like that. I think so. It's it's been a while since I've seen the Digimon World movie, but I think, I think if someone wants to correct me on that, um, damage. But yeah, I think it's or is that Diaboramon? I want to say it's the second movie. I want to say the first movie is Diaboramon, the second movie is Armageddon, or something like that. I've only seen I think I've only seen the first three Digimon World movies, something like that. All right. Anyway, the control room. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. There he is. There's Mr. Megadeth. I'm not calling you Lord Megadeth. I'm calling you Mister. <laughs> you finally arrived, strongest tamer of all. Lord Megadeth, who are you? He's Lord Megadeth. He he literally you literally just told told yourself he's. Anyway, so apparently he's not a Digimon, but he might as well be, because he's a digital life form, born inside the network. So he is essentially a Digimon, essentially. Even though, well, whatever. And then um, the one to replace humans is the rule of all worlds, apparently. I don't even know who created him. I don't know. He was the one who founded the AOA, but I like the fact that, I like the fact that humans were following a digital creature. Robots, man. Simon of the Times, Tanya Man, Terminator, Skynet, they're all going to take us down. Soon, all our jobs are going to be replaced, not by foreigners, but by robots. <laughs> and they will be complaining that robots took our jobs. <laughs> that's a deep cut reference, Jim. That's a deep cut reference. Ah, Jim, that's a deep cut reference. I doubt anyone watching will have no idea what I'm talking about. That's okay. Snatchmon? Yeah, so apparently... He's going to create a new Digimon 
with Venmon to call to, to be called Snatchmon. By the way, we never see the Snatchmon. Well, we never we never see an action. We never see the Snatchmon in action. Um, it's a new Digimon that they created for this game. Snatchmon was born when Venmon has absorbed large quantities of Matrix Data and Digivolves. You've seen it. Those who had their Matrix Data sucked out a turned Digimon. Yeah, so apparently... Apparently Oinkmon are literally the result of anything digital that's had its data taken away. Which you'd think they'd just disappear, but apparently not. But whatever. I don't know. Snatchmon will then be the strongest. Yeah, he 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 basically wants to be like this ruler tamer with Snatchmon and whatever. Yeah, right. I won't let you. That is why battle me. All right. So you know how? Okay, whoever watched the uh, the previous parts, we had a bit of a. Uh, <clears throat> Metal Gear. We had a bit of a Metal Gear reference, um, which I'm still convinced is a Metal Gear reference. So, um, yeah, well, Metal Gear is Konami, right? What else is Konami? Hmm. Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I think so. I think so. Hello, Footloose. I think so. So, okay. Now, this isn't exactly 100% accurate, but I'm speaking of references. I kind of think these Digimon are like Suijin, Kazajin, and Sangha Thunder. Now, this this isn't called Suijin, or I don't think they actually straight up called it. But look at the name. Fu F Fujin Mom. It's kind of similar to Suijin, Kazajin, and I think this gimmick. I think the gimmick for this Digimon right here is uh, he 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 commands wind, which guess what? Kazajin, Kazajin is all about wind. So I think this guy is all about wind. I think, if I remember correctly. So. I, I kind of partly think this is also another reference. They, they're also super tanky, by the way. They're super tanky. So, we might be here a while. We might be here a while. wonder if Burn Slash would be better. Yeah, but I, 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 always, I always wondered if it was a reference. I mean, I, it could, could be a coincidence, but... I'm not actually sure... I'm not actually, sh like, sure if these are... Like if Fujin stands for something, like it might mean wind or something, I'm not really sure, or air, I'm not really sure. Is this the Konami conspiracy again? <laughs> it might be, dude. I'm telling you, I, I, I said about I said about Metal Gear, now I think this is a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, I do. Straight up. Straight up. I'm just going to use Hammer Rush, it's like the best option for uh, my Digimon right here. I mean, we're doing good damage. Yeah, he, he, uh, he commands wind. He commands wind. That's why I think these Digimon are literally Kazajin. I mean, I, I'm trying to think. I think there is a water and a thunder. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, we'll find out, though, after we take out this guy. But this guy is clearly supposed to be like Kazajin. He commands uh, the air and all that jazz, so. Silfstorm. He's not too bad though. He's not too bad. Um, he's just very tanky. Um, they they're all pretty tanky, really. Um, almost got him. Almost got him. Oh yeah, that's his special move, which he does use sometimes. So much damage that does. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I didn't do that much damage. I'm gonna try and do a bad slash right here. No. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so Kazajin is down. What's the next one? Next one is... Suijin! See, I told you! I told you! I told you! <laughs> Though, okay. Though, um... The difference here is that I think Suijin... Suijin here, I think, is electric. He's not water, he's electric. So, the, the elements are different. But still, that dude was wind. 
and he's like you know Kazajin this dude's name is straight up Suijin but yeah I think he's I think he's actually electric I think he's I think he's thunder I think or maybe not well that was machine so maybe maybe I'm talking out my butt maybe I'm actually talking about my butt um hang on let's tag out for Mon Mon there we go let's uh let's uh, switch things out So yeah, no, I, I do I do think it's kind of a reference. I don't know, maybe not. Again, it might just be a Japan thing. Yeah, this guy can hit four times. Four times. I counted. Yeah. Beautiful. I counted though, so that's good. Um. I let's see this machine. Let's see this machine. All right. I've got cannons. You've got cannons. We've all got cannons. <laughs> Okay, that was decent, that was decent. See that again. Dynamo cannon. It's battle of the cannons, man. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh. Sewage not looking so good. He hits hard as well. I really would appreciate it if someone would... Okay. Counter. Nice. He's gone. I was going to say, I really would appreciate it. Someone would block, but that's okay. It's fine if we get the counter. And... Okay, so this is this is Sangha of Thunder. Now, this guy's called Raijin, but this guy is basically Sangha of Thunder. He's the electric guy. He's 100% the electric guy. Um, let's... What's, I'm trying to remember what's strong against electric, because I don't remember. Marine, dinosaur, dragon. Hmm. Don't know, actually. We'll switch down anyway. But yeah, this, this guy is basically Sangra Thunder. He he he's electric. Different name, but oh, electric ball, damage. Not really. <laughs> All right, so uh, soul charge. No okay. game. Uh, I should have equipped Hammer Rush. I really should have. I really should have. Um, let's try Vacuum Hit, I guess. See how much damage it does. Not that much, to be honest. Oh. Rain. And Thunder. Alright. Alright. Let's give this one a go. Mugenhagen. Let's go. Mugenhagen. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well, neither of us are really doing that much damage, but it's okay. All right, we're soul charging. We're soul charging. Yeah, I really, I should have uh, tried it, but then no I'm. Oh, why'd I do that? I suck. Saving Chi twice. <laughs> uh... Alright. Ooh. Okay, okay. Ooh, nice block. Nice block. I just want to see how much damage this does. This is Thunder versus Thunder. Okay, that did like nothing. <laughs> That's okay. That's 100% okay. No block there. That's okay. We got this. We got this. Again, they're not too... I don't think they're too bad, really, if you're around the, the 60 level mark. They're just really tanky, I would say. They're just really, really tanky. I'd, I'd say Suijin... Suijin will probably give you the most trouble because um, he attacks four times and does a, a lot of damage. Uh, but if you manage to block, you're fine, really. 
So, Lord Megadeth. I don't know why I made that voice. You still think you're all that? Oh, oh. <laughs> Wombo combo. All of the MLG sounds. Of course, that was just a test. I still have the most powerful Digimon. Snatchmon. You will soon learn what true terror is. Blah, 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 blah. You, you know how it is. The villain. The villain's like, it's fine. It wasn't. I wasn't even using like my full power. <laughs> I was using like ten percent of my power. It's fine.